Well, it was nice waking up again to uh, some sun today. My drive to work was nice and bright, and then it all changed, and it got really rainy. And, <laughs> and then it got nice again. It was like right. back and forth, I mean, for a lot of people, right? We yeah. had some heavy rain in some spots and mm -hmm. some sunshine. And right now, outside, it's not too bad. We're uh, seeing our current temperatures uh, in the uh, mid to upper 40s, uh, some 50s, 51 in Oak Harbor, 50 in Bellingham, 46 for Chehalis right now. Your almanac looking like this for our day. We had a high of 54 today. The average is 48. The record high was uh, five years ago, uh, 61 degrees back in 2015. So your commuter forecast for tomorrow, something to be aware of as you uh, go to bed tonight and get ready for tomorrow morning. Your morning commute shouldn't see wet roadways. Now you will overnight now and then later on in the day, but during the morning commute, it should be okay. Breezy and cloudy, 48 degrees, increasing rain though for the afternoon. It's going to be a wet drive home for you. That's for sure. Let's take a look at the radar over the last few hours and we are seeing some uh, spots of uh, showers that have been moving through the Seattle area. Everett, Bellingham, all up and down the I-5 corridor, Chehalis, Olympia, Tacoma. It's moved east. And then there's going to be spotty showers for the rest of the evening into the overnight hours. But take a look at what's coming your way later on as uh, we see this band of showers that's going to be moving its way through later on tomorrow. And we can see that right here is when it hits. About uh, 2 30 in the afternoon is when we're going to see that first start to get into the South Puget Sound. And then it just rolls up the I 5 corridor. And you can see heavy rain uh, in the uh, southwestern part of the state and things like that over on the coast. And it's going to be rainy in the entirety of western Washington all through the night. And into the next morning. So you can see it's going to be a pretty wet day. Wanted to show you our uh, precipitation count here for the rainfall that we're going to be getting. You can see uh, about uh, nearly an inch of rain, three quarters of an inch of rain as uh, we make your way around uh, 930 on Tuesday morning. And then by the time we get through Tuesday, over an inch of rain in most of our areas in western Washington, except north in Snohomish or in Skagit and Whatcom counties, where it'll just be about a quarter of an inch of rain. Wind watches happening right now out on the coast through the Admiralty Inlet, San Juan Islands, Whatcom County and you can see in the Seattle area as well. Gusty winds early Monday morning. Just something to be prepared for. We're going to see our temperatures tomorrow. 51 upper 40s to lower 50s in the northwest interior. Here we go. Our central part of our region. You can see 50 for Seattle, 49 Linwood. These are the temperatures for you tomorrow as you start your work week and uh, head back to school. Temperatures out on the coast going to be in the upper 40s to low 50s as you can see there and over in eastern Washington. Temperatures going to be across the board from upper 30s to lower 50s in places like the Tri-Cities. Now we take a look at our extended forecast. Here it is breezy early and then the rain returns tomorrow. Your high of 50. Look at those mild temperatures in the mid to upper 50s by the end of the week, but very wet.